Warm up your pitching arm and be patient. You might just be playing throw for a while before your dog catches on. You will need a dog, somewhere big enough to play in, a tennis ball or favorite dog toy to throw, and dog treats. Optional, a t-shirt or dish towel with a knot tied in the middle, a leash, and a helper. Step one, pick something for your dog to fetch. A favorite toy works great, but a tennis ball works well too. Don't use a stick as a throw toy. Besides being dangerous to throw near other people, a stick can hurt your dog's mouth and may contain parasites. Step two, stash a handful of dog treats in your pocket so you'll have them handy. A clean t-shirt or dish towel makes a great throw toy if you tie a knot in the middle. It's floppy, the knot makes it easy to pick up, and it's machine washable. Step three, if you're playing with your dog inside, make sure you have enough space to throw a toy or ball without breaking anything. A hallway works great. Step four, if you're playing outside, make sure the dog can't stray into traffic or other dangerous areas. A fenced backyard is best. Many public outdoor spaces require dogs to be leashed, so don't turn your pooch loose in a park without checking the rules. Step five, shake the toy or tennis ball in front of your dog. Make a big fuss over it and hold it just out of reach. Step six, when you've got the dog's attention, throw the toy or ball a short distance. This will make it easier for the dog to keep her eye on it. Step seven, when the dog runs after the toy, pile on the praise. If she picks it up, be even more positive. Step eight, most likely your dog will chase the toy, but if she doesn't seem to understand about fetching after you've thrown the object a few times, Clip a leash to her collar and walk her over to it. Praise her for arriving to the right spot. If the dog doesn't pick up the toy, it's helpful to have a friend actually put it into her mouth. Of course, the instant the dog is carrying the toy, more praise is in order. Step 9. When the dog has the fetch toy in her mouth, call her back to you. Yell, bring it here, bring it here. Praise her as soon as she starts to move toward you. Step 10. As soon as the dog arrives with the toy, Praise her and give her a treat. When she sees the treat, she should drop the toy automatically. Say drop it immediately, as soon as you see her starting to drop the toy. That way she'll associate the command with what she's already doing. Never try to take the fetch toy away from the dog. You don't want her to think tug of war is part of this game. And if she runs, don't encourage her by chasing after. Run the other way and offer a treat when she follows you instead. Step 11. As your dog gets to understand the rules of this game, you can gradually stop giving her treats for performing her part of the routine. Taper them off to once every other time she brings the toy back, then once every third time, and so on. Step 12. Once your dog has learned the fetch basics, feel free to vary the routine. Try tossing a flying disc for a change, throw the toy for longer distances, or over different terrains, even into the water if you're at the beach. Before long, your dog will be bringing you her special toy and begging you to play. Did you know? Newfoundland dogs which have webbed feet are so good at fetching and swimming that in the past they were trained to rescue drowning swimmers.